Hey everybody, welcome to Stone Reacts. So glad you're here joining me today. So I waited a little bit, decided to make a video. Um, I, I was pretty shocked at the stuff that she posted. So I thought it would be a good idea for us to go through it and I'll do some commentary. But the, we're going to do two videos. This is the first one, which is the quick update. It's only 42 seconds long. So let's get into it. All right, I got a bit nostalgic for Canada, but when I got when I get here, my feelings change. Moving here feels like a step back. There will be no going back to how things were. I love my new life as a revert, and despite not being perfect, I will get closer to Allah. Inshallah. The vibe in the Middle East is best. Islamic countries are the best. So, I'm gonna say. When I read this, it almost sounded like something Sala would say, right? It, it, I didn't feel like it genuinely came from her. Maybe it did. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But really pay attention to the, the last two sentences. The vibe in the Middle East is best. Islamic countries are best. It just seems like something Sala would say. That, or maybe something that she knows Salah would want to hear her say. So she could show him what a good revert she is. I just, I just thought that, that caught my eye. Alright, so this one says... Supporters have threatened to unsub if I choose a direction in life they don't like. I say, please leave. I don't need fair weather followers. Boundaries, people. If any of you who sent me money for my new place here want it back, let me know and I will return it to you no problem. So number one, the problem with this is if you want your money back, you're not going to get it back. We've been through this like a number of times with her in various different scenarios. And we know how she is when she says that it never happens. I don't need fair weather followers. So, you know, like while you're trying to maintain your station, your, your channel, your station, I'm saying your channel, you would think that you would try to reassure your followers that you're happy that they're there with you happy that they're there supporting you but instead you're you're labeling fair weather followers who exactly are you talking about because if you're talking about the people who really genuinely follow you because they're interested in you you've just like pretty much insulted them but anyway um yeah lots of yeah run-on sentences and i don't know I, I would expect more from an english major but okay and, and, uh, okay, so supporters are threatening now, so, okay, yeah, we got that, all right. I've changed too much to enjoy living here now, meaning Canada. Whether you believe it or not, it's not my job to convince people of anything. My husband vowed to take good care of me and to support me even more on my health journey if I return. I will take more of a break now. I will focus on myself. See you. So now you got to realize like this video came out nearly the same time as the hospital video, which is going to be the next one. It just seems so out of place because she's really like now kind of stuck, right? Because she's really sick. So she's putting out this message like she's like on her way back to Kuwait and her husband has vowed to take good care of her and all this stuff which I mm, okay yeah sure um he just wants to take good care of you because he wants access to your money I mean this is a, a transactional relationship there's no secret about that so of course he's going to say that because he doesn't want to lose access to your money. He has to find the next bait for his con. And until he has that woman lined up, he needs to rely on you. And this is such a mixed message. I mean, when I read this, I'm like, and then you see the next video and you're like, what? You know, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense.
And really, Chantal, let me tell you something, honey. The person who's going to take care of you most when you're sick, uh, it's, this isn't anything against husbands or friends or anything like that. It's going to be your mother. And you thankfully still have your mother. She's the person who will love you no matter what. Will be there for you no matter what. You have a bond with your mother like you have with no other. That's the person that's genuinely going to take care of you. Okay. Oops. 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 Okay. Sorry. I got to get to the next video. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so that was her, her update video. And um, it's going to seem so contradicting to what we're going to watch next. But hold on. So now this was the next video that she posted. And it's called, I'll spend a day in the hospital. So apparently she took a road trip to the to um, the U.S., I did not watch this video yet. I watched little bits and pieces of it, but I didn't watch it in its entirety. So it'll be interesting to see um, what all happened. Um, because if you remember the video previous to this, which was posted nearly at the same time, makes it sound like she's, you know, on her way back to Kuwait. Hubby's just waiting there with open arms, ready to, you know, bow down to her every beck and call. And um, <clears throat> no, that wasn't the case. She's she's still in Canada. So let's let's get into this. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting with a random mini travel vlog to upstate New York. In particular, Messina. First we had to pass through the Aquasasne Mohawk Reserve though, and then cross a bridge to get to the USA border. I can tell you this much if I was as sick as her I would not be taking long road trips like this I mean god forbid let, let's just imagine god forbid she was driving and something medically happened with her blood sugar or something like that and made her rear you know go off the road hit another car I don't know what you know bad things gonna happen I wouldn't be uh, doing that I, I, but that just shows how much in denial she is it just shows how delusional she sees things she's just so delusional I think she sees herself and says oh I look great oh you know I went to the doctor yesterday and my sugar was bad and I'm all concerned about it. then the next day it's like that never happened it's such a high level of delusion it's unreal And and how much you want to bet she's going over there for fast food? <laughs> Unbelievable. She probably won't go see any sites. She'll be just going for the food. <clears throat> Got her passport. Better have that COVID ID card too. I think they, they require it getting in Canada. Okay, we made it through. Yeah, I wonder that. If anybody knows, does Canada still require people to prove their, have that, you know, the shot um, to get into Canada? Because uh, I remember when uh, it was going on and we have some Canadian friends that own properties in the States and we were like hanging out with them in Wyoming and they yeah, couldn't head back. <laughs> Because they didn't have the, the shot and didn't want to get it. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I have to check in with them and see what's going on. But if anybody knows, let me know. I'm curious. I had no specific reason to come here today. I just like checking it out every few years to see if anything has changed. I also love driving around to nowhere and anywhere at any given time. Question for Americans. Is Dollar General, like... A really good dollar store. 
No, Dollar General is something you'd find probably in more rural, maybe country settings. Um, I know every time I take road trips and stuff, I tend to see them in those parts. I, we actually don't want to have one around here. I've never seen one nearby here. And I'm on the East Coast. But there might be. I haven't gone everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so we have here a little shopping mall. Okay. It's a Chinese buffet. Ooh. A cinema. Uh-huh. A big lots. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so this is what's playing at this cinema. Is this old movies? I can't tell. So I didn't notice this until it was too late, but the crappy gas station car charger I purchased wasn't working and therefore wasn't charging my phone ah, this damn. whole time. Ah. So at some point my battery died and ah. thus why the vlog of Messina was no more. But I didn't want to waste the whole trip, so I'm still sharing the clips I have. Sorry guys. Anyways, unfortunately okay. things recently have taken a bit of a toll for the worse health-wise. Great. Hello. So... As you can see, I'm in the ER beezing. Um, I have norovirus or the um, the bad stomach flu, the highly can. I do not believe for one second that she has that virus. Um, I've known several people who have gone through it. Um, it definitely didn't hospitalize them, but again, they weren't as obese as she is. Um, and and of course if if you're uh, you know heavier you know illness can hit you different ways i think it was her blood sugar i i do like i immediately that's the first thing that came to my mind because that's where her biggest issue is i mean we know it's been a consistent issue for her and she refuses to take the medication consistently and then she runs into these problems <clears throat> she also doesn't alter her diet when you don't change at least the majority of the food that you eat to a healthier version to help your blood sugar stay level you know sticking to less carbs not having so much processed foods you know it's it's it makes a difference but she doesn't make those changes in her life and this be continues to become a problem for her her blood sugar she I think she, in her mind, she thinks if she doesn't think about it, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. The problem isn't there. It's almost like that's where her mind goes because she, it's so much easier to live through your life pretending that the problems aren't there, but eventually it all catches up to you. And we definitely saw that in Life by Jen, right? It eventually caught up to her. And we don't want to see that happen to Chantal. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that wants doom on her. Okay, I wish her well. I want the best for her. I would love, love to see Chantal take the bull by the horns and get her ass in gear, get healthy, focus on herself, clearing her body, her temple, making it whole again, losing weight, getting healthy, doing all the things that she dreams of doing, traveling to different places and seeing different things. I would love to see that, that arc. But it's eventually going to catch up to her if she doesn't face the reality of her situation. You can't live your life constantly in denial. Contagious one. I don't know where I got it. Hope I never get it again. It is the worst illness. I swear, it's it's disgusting. See, I don't even think she, if she had that virus, I don't even think she'd be talking to us right now. I mean, <laughs> the people I knew that went through it, it was it was pretty rough. You know, they they had no desire to be you know doing stuff like this. And I mean, supposedly right now she's in the thick of it. And then she's getting, I think she says at some point about the fluids, and I'm going to bring up something at that point. So I became severely dehydrated. And so I got sugar, sick. sugar, sugar. I bet her blood pressure is pretty rough, Maybe too. A few days ago, I don't remember exactly when, a few days ago, and 
I woke up in the middle of the night and I had to throw up. TMI, by the way. Blood sugar. Blood sugar. I, I can promise you that has to be diabetic. Like everything she's explaining just totally points like in my mind it has to be diabetic related. I remember um, I was working at a place and I uh, worked alongside another woman and this was the first time in my life I ever like knew somebody had type 1 diabetes. I, I don't know how we got into the conversation and she told me she had type 1 diabetes and she was very very thin and I always in the back of my mind thought, oh, maybe she has disordered eating. But then when she told me she had type 1 diabetes, I said, oh, okay, I can understand um, that happens. Because um, I think uh, my husband said Mary Tyler Moore had type 1 diabetes too. But anyway, um, I mean, the it's so serious like I never I didn't know much about diabetes at all until it like hit me and until I met this woman um I never realized like how consuming it is to have especially type 1 diabetes like wow I mean I feel I felt so bad for her like I mean she was great she was healthy and everything but like my heart just like tore up because the more I learned about it and educated myself because I knew she had it and I wanted to understand and she would talk to me sometimes about it and it just tore me up. I, I, I can't imagine every day thinking and living revolving around this diabetic issue you have. And when I get, ended up getting type 2 diabetes towards the end, <clears throat> that was terrifying to me. Like I was so scared because I knew what it was for somebody who has type 1 diabetes and I'm like okay type 2 I can cure this like I can control this and that was a very wake up call moment for me that made me more confirmed in having weight loss surgery because I couldn't let it get out of control and then the other other end diarrhea severe diarrhea so vomiting diarrhea muscle weakness just um, fatigue I mean I don't know she doesn't sound that sick does she sound that like like that kind of sick like when you're throwing up diarrhea you're sitting over the toilet like I don't know she sounds very you know okay unless they you know th you know thrust her IV with some uh, pain management I don't know she could she, I definitely think she would have she would have she would have totally done the I the sciatica right she definitely played that up at the hospital yeah and I broke my leg and tore my ACL and the nurse looked at me and said oh you can go home and take some Tylenol ha that was hilarious I had Nurse Wretched. I'm not kidding you. And I'm very dehydrated. My sodium and um, the chloride, I don't know. My electrolytes were bad. I couldn't keep enough water in, like fluids in, at the rate they were going out. And they had the IV. It's bad. It's bad. Don't come near me. You'll catch it. So I didn't catch if she's back in Canada. I, I hope she is because that's where she has her medical coverage. Anyway, just a quick update. Um, I'm doing all right other than that. Um, you know. Oh no, the arm cuff thing. It hurts. Oh the yeah, the blood pressure machine. Blood pressure. You know when you're like when you're in the hospital and all of a sudden like you're like falling asleep and it goes <laughs> it turns on. You're like, damn it. Oh. Yeah, look, 
I don't know what's going on. Anyways. So I gotta get a whole bunch of fluids. Um, going to the bathroom is torture because I have to unplug everything and take this thing with me into the bathroom. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, it's exhausting time. being so I'm sick. I'm trying to get better. And then we should be able to do a bit of beezing. Okay. Yeah, I'm very dizzy and just weak. They want me to try to tolerate food. I haven't eaten in, like... And she's, if you notice down below, she put... Since being sick, pretty much, I tried... Hold on. Having, like, a... You, you guys see that, wait. Like... You see that? She put neurovirus skinny legend on the bottom. I don't think that's what you have, Chantal. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just guessing. But, uh... Seems more diabetic. That's more believable to me. Since being sick, pretty much, I tried having like an apple because I can't drink. I don't know where people come with up with like ginger ale, soda when you're sick. There's nothing I want less than soda. And actually, ginger ale, or uh, some people swear by sipping on Coke. I don't know. Maybe it's like the bubbles. I don't know. But ginger ale is always done well. But I like it kind of flat when I'm sick. Um, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. That's because I'm like, I'm being a skinny queen from the norovirus. <laughs> I had to do some cameos from my hospital bed. Fun times. Anyway. Not fun. I don't know, you, did you guys get the gastro this this year? I haven't had that in forever. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it is the worst, man. So, it feels like a hangover times 10. That's what it feels like. Ew. So yeah, I didn't want saltines and ginger ale. Like, I wanted juicy fruit because I was so thirsty. Of course, she wanted the sugar. I wanted juicy fruit. That, that She probably hates being in the hospital because they won't give her what she wants. She'd be like one of those people you see on 600 pound life that's like ordering takeout at the, to be delivered at the hospital. And then the stupid ass hospital lets the delivery people deliver the food. Like, what the hell is this? Like, are you serious? You're at a medical facility. For your weight. <laughs> Anyway, my blood sugar's through the roof, even though I didn't eat. The doctor's like, well, it's probably be because of the stress of being sick and if you have, like, a virus or infection, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm sorry, but I don't know what, what will be going on, how long I'll be here for. In case the doctor's coming. <laughs> yeah, so they keep coming and checking my electrolyte levels, my blood sugar, stuff like that. So I'll keep you guys updated. Sorry for Okay, so I am going to bring a picture that was on Twitter that was done by Bad Seed. Thank you, Bad Seed. I am going to let me expand this a bit so you can see it and sorry I'm trying to yeah there we go all right okay I am actually <laughs> making this more work than it needs to be okay here we go all right so this is this is on Twitter uh, uh yeah Twitter and Bad Seed posted it and it shows a picture of Chantal and then Life by Jen and the, one comment has the healthcare girls are weighing in and saying that six bags of fluids puts her at 475 pounds 
So the person replied to this saying, oh, I missed the breakdown of this, but they'd be spot on with it because it's not just a random number of bags that gets pulled out. It's a proper calculation with the fluid deficient deficit, sorry, and body weight. So she has six bags of fluid, which would then put her roughly around 475 pounds. Exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, she's got to be close to 500 pounds. There's just no way. There's no way. You know, it's, um, I thought this was a great post. Thank you again. We'll give Bad Seed credit. Thank you again, Bad Seed. My husband and I like your stuff. So let's get back into her drama. For the bad quality video, but. <sighs> I just want to sleep till this is over. Honestly, it's the worst feeling. So sleep, what's stopping you from sleeping? I can't even think of food. Yeah, and I know you're thinking, well, this is just what you need. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. I'm skinny now. Yeah, right. Her, do you believe that her wedding ring slipped off in the shower? It looks like it's being suffocated by two boulders on each side. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm definitely not putting any crap in my body after this. Uh, the way I you lie, you lie, you lie. Stop. I'm, I'm going to give you some advice, okay? Listen to me, Shanta. Stop making promises you can't keep. Don't make commitments you can't stand by. Don't shake somebody's hand and then pull it away. Because that's basically what you're doing. Okay? You're giving us these promises that you never deliver on. You keep telling us the same thing over and over and over again when you go through your little cycles. That you're never going to do this again. That this was the most awful and traumatic experience you've been through. You hate being in the hospital. You hate feeling sick. I'm going to change everything. I'm never going to do it again. But you do it again and again and again. I feel... I don't think I can tolerate it, honestly. They want me to try to tolerate something before I leave here. So who knows what that will be? I can't. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know why, Chantal? Because they don't want you to get sick again when you leave there. Because you know what that means? That means a possible another ambulance, possible another hospital stay, a possible, all this costs money. Okay? They want to make sure you can keep food down before you leave so they can feel reassured that you're okay. Because if you're unable to keep food down, there's a problem which they need to address. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Yay for norovirus. Ew. I have to have my own washroom because it's contaminated from my from me because it's so highly contagious. Anyway, I'm gonna try to rest. And um I'll just see you guys when I see you, I guess. I don't know. I'll try to update you guys as I can. Um, see you later. Bye. So they ended up having to give me a total of six of these fluid bags for... Okay, so here's, here's that whole six bags, right? This is, this is what I was just showing you with that bad seed post. She had six bags, so it's roughly putting her around 475 pounds. Uh, Close to 500 pounds. It was rough. Hi guys, I just wanted to give an update basically. Okay, so I'm assuming she's she was in Canada at the hospital. That's good, that's good. On, you know, I left kind of hanging in the ER. So I have been discharged. I was discharged in like the middle of the night. And I so, actually... So I have a question for anybody that knows. I've never been discharged from a hospital in the mid middle of the night unless... Unless, yeah, if you're in the emergency room, yeah, that would make sense. So she, like, I don't know if she was, I don't know how it is in Canada, actually, but I don't know, like, if she remained in the ER for that whole duration of time.
like I know here you're in the ER for a period of time after that you're either discharged or you're you're checked in as a patient at the hospital and given a room so I don't know if Canada is the same way um, because if she was in the ER that entire time then yeah that would make sense she would be discharged at any time feel a lot better today so basically I was just really dehydrated like a lot so basically they gave me like um, a few liters of fluid anyways I've been drinking I picked up some Gatorade but it's like it's like a healthy Gatorade because when I'm ill Gatorade is like real Gatorade is too artificial for me and that's why I don't like ginger ale either when I'm sick <laughs> so it's actually only got like I think two or three carbs and one gram of sugar which is also good for diabetic. Why not get Gatorade Zero? That's what I use. Because I'm not a big like plain water drinker. I like it, but I can't sip on it all day. It's boring to me. So I get Gatorade Zero. No carbs, no sugar, no nothing. Why don't you get something like that? You know, and it's made with like real, I think it's like watermelon juice and like um salts like sea salt and like more natural ingredients there's still a few that are a little iffy but it's for the most part they're very uh so i just wanted to i looked up diabetes and dehydration because i was just curious again i don't know a lot um, so it says people with diabetes have an increased risk of dehydration as high blood glucose levels lead to decreased hydration in the body um diabetes insipidus a form of diabetes that is not linked with high blood sugar levels also carries a higher risk of dehydration so that's what that said so that was i'm trying to see like if you become severely dehydrated and have diabetes it can make your blood sugar spike and lead to complications and can be life-threatening if you feel faint or not urinating having a rapid heartbeat or respiration feel confused seek emergency medical care okay nice let me see <clears throat> okay three signs of diabetic emergency yeah one of them is clammy skin profound sweating drowsiness or confusion weakness feeling faint hmm. all right let's get let's finish this they're up. a lot more natural let's just say so I was discharged in the middle of the night, which, um, you know, they asked me if I was okay. And I said, yeah, I can drive. <laughs> That's about it. Today I'm feeling a lot better. I think the hydration really helped. And honestly, I was, um, I'm, I'm really craving like pickle juice, which also is apparently mm. good for like electrolyte. Yeah, but that's full of sodium, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Come on, Chantal, for God's sakes. You can get you can get drinks with electrolytes. Like you don't have to resort to pickle juice. Though I'm a total pickle juice lover. I love pickles and I love drinking pickle juice. Like I yeah, I I get it. But you're not in a position to be taking in that much sodium. Did I say sugar earlier? I meant to say sodium. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you really want that much sodium? I did not mean to say sugar if I said that earlier. Replenishment uh, because of the high sodium content, but like I was just like craving going into like, you know, a Canadian grocery store, like no frills and just grabbing like no name brand, big jar of dill pickles and just downing the juice. Like having an emergency jar of pickles in my bag. That's not a bad idea. Anyway, I should start a pickle company. Who am I kidding? I can't even get up before noon on a good day or before. Yeah, you start a pickle company just like you started your little MLM con. You started your bees or spray con. You, you know, really, you're just, you're very consistent. You're very, you are truly have the entrepreneur spirit. Like you start and man, you never make it to the finish line. I'm telling you. Three. Well, sometimes, yes. I've been sleeping a lot, like for days, I've just been resting in that because this flu just makes you feel like you've been hit by a mock truck, like 18 wheeler. So yeah, fun, fun. Anyway, um, I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans that were like, 
pre-booked with like you know um friends and family yeah i have friends you guys are always shocked by that don't have many but <laughs> <laughs> actually yeah. i do have a lot i just don't keep in touch with a lot of them so yeah then that's not your friends honey friends when people are saying friends they're talking about you know your close circle of friends you know the people closest to you you know you um usually people don't have a lot of those those are people that like you'd be there if they had an emergency or you're maybe the godparent to their child you know like that's a close friend yeah but uh i have some things to take care of some medical appointments and things like that so um I will probably like do some live streams. I'm not sure, and I'll do some more videos for you guys, more vlogs. But I am still going back to Kuwait, and um, so I'm just like rearranging my life right now, basically. And I'm just overwhelmed, right. and just having the personal space, like not uploading as frequently, is like really helping. So I appreciate your guys's patience. I know a lot of you look forward to and depend on my videos. Um, so yeah, so I'll be back Wait, whenever did you I just can. say, <laughs> see you guys. Bye. All right. Okay. So I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys for joining. Please like the video. If you enjoyed it, if you would like the content, please subscribe. We'd love you to join our family over here and, uh, leave your comments below. Love to have the dialogue and have a great, wonderful and safe evening.